Stat Mika, Israel's nuclear ballistic missile strategic site. Stat Mika base is an Israeli Air Force nuclear missile base and depot, whose existence Israel neither confirms nor denies. Specifically, it is a missile launch facility for nuclear tipped Jericho 2 IRBMs and probably Jericho 3 ICBMs. The Israeli Air Force reportedly has three squadrons, 150, 199 and 248 squadrons, equipped with Jericho nuclear-tipped missiles at the Sadat Mika. The base is situated in the center of Israel, halfway from Jerusalem to the Mediterranean Sea and extends nearly 13 kilometers from southeast to northwest. The secret airbase has been called many names. It is most commonly called by sources as Stat Mika Air Base due to its proximity to Moshev Stat Mika, and less commonly Zechariah Air Base, due to its proximity to Moshev Zechariah. Israel's nuclear missile program dates back to the early 1960s. In April 1963, several months before the Demona reactor began producing plutonium, Israel signed an agreement with the French company Dassault to produce a short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile. The missile system became known as the Jericho, or MB-620, and approximately 16 test launches took place between 1965 and 1968, of which 10 were successful. After initially receiving 14 Jericho-1 missiles from France, Israel domestically produced approximately 50 additional missiles between 1971 and 1978. The Jericho-1 was Israel's first nuclear-capable missile. The missile entered service in 1973. The Jericho-1 had a range of 500 kilometers, with a payload of up to 650 kilograms. It was 13.4 meters long, with a 0.8 meter diameter and a total launch weight of 6,700 kilograms. The missile used a two-stage solid propellant engine and could be launched from a railroad flat truck or a transporter erector launch vehicle. The Jericho could carry a payload of a 20-kiloton nuclear warhead, or potentially a chemical warhead. The missile reportedly has an accuracy of 1,000 meters CEP. The range on the Jericho 1 was sufficient to strike major cities such as Damascus and Cairo from secured launch locations. In collaboration with South Africa, in the late 1980s Israel developed the two-stage, solid-fuel, medium-range Jericho 2 that for the first time put the southernmost Soviet cities and the Black Sea fleet within range. Jericho 2, a modified version of the Shavit space launch rocket, was first deployed in the early 1990s, replacing the first Jericho. The Jericho 2 was first flight tested in May 1987 to approximately 850 kilometers. The trajectory went far into the Mediterranean Sea. Another test in September 1989 reached 1,300 kilometers. The U.S. Air Force National Air Intelligence Center in 1996 reported the Jericho 2 range as 1,500 kilometers. The Jericho 2 with a separating warhead is capable of carrying up to a 1,500 kilogram high explosive payload or nuclear warhead of up to 1 megaton TNT. The Jericho 2 is 15 meters long and 1.35 meters wide, with an estimated launch weight of 22,000 kilograms. As many as 90 Jericho 2 missiles are currently based in caves in Stat Mika. Given that approximately half of Iran, including Tehran, is beyond the range of Jericho 2 medium range ballistic missile, Israel is currently upgrading its arsenal with the newer and more capable three stage Jericho 3 intermediate range ballistic missile. The Jericho 3 reportedly has a range exceeding 4,000 kilometers, which would be able to target all of Iran, Pakistan, and all of Russia west of the Urals, including, for the first time, Moscow. Jericho 3 was first test launched over the Mediterranean Sea in January 2008 and reportedly became operational in 2011. Jericho 3 constitutes a dramatic leap in Israel's missile capabilities, but many details and its current status are unknown. In July 2013, 
Israel tested an improved version of the Jericho 3 missile with a new motor that some sources believe may offer the missile an intercontinental range exceeding 5,500 kilometers. The missile is reportedly equipped with a 750-kilogram nuclear warhead with a yield between 150 and 400 kiloton TNT. It is suspected that there are decoys included in the payload and several independently targeted reentry vehicles, if equipped with the smaller nuclear yield. It has a range of 4,800 to 6,500 kilometers and uses inertial guidance with a radar-guided warhead. It is unclear whether Israel is replacing its Jericho 2 missiles with Jericho 3s on a one-for-one -one basis, or if they are being deployed concurrently, although the former is more likely. Upgrades of suspected launcher bunkers at Stop Mika began in 2014. In recent years, Israel has conducted several test launches of what it calls rocket propulsion systems. These tests, which have been conducted in May 2015, May 2017, December 2019, and January 2020 are typically not accompanied by confirmation of an official test location. In April 2021, Video footage captured a significant blast at Stat Mika Air Base, which external analysts have suggested was likely to be another rocket engine test. The flurry of rocket propulsion test activity has stirred up speculation that Israel could be developing a newer version of its Jericho missile, possibly known as Jericho 4. How many Jericho missiles Israel has is another uncertainty. Estimates vary from 25 to 100. Most sources estimate that Israel has 50 of these missiles and place them at the Stat Mika facility near the town of Zakaria in the Judean Hills, approximately 27 kilometers east of Jerusalem. Commercial satellite images show what appear to be two clusters of what might be caves or bunkers for mobile Jericho launchers at Stat Mika. The northern cluster includes 14 caves and the southern cluster has 9 caves, for a total of 23 caves. Newly available high-resolution imagery indicates that each cave appears to have two entrances, which suggests that each cave can hold up to two launchers. The satellite images show that cave's refurbishment began in 2014 and appeared complete in 2020. The upgrade also included upgrades to several tunnels to underground facilities. If all 23 caves are full, this would amount to 46 launchers. Each cluster also has what appears to be a covered high bay drive through facility, potentially for missile handling or warhead loading. A nearby complex with its own internal perimeter has four tunnels to underground facilities that could potentially be for nuclear warhead storage. For the Jericho missiles to have military value, they would need to be able to disperse from their caves. The Stat Mika base is relatively small at 16 square kilometers and the suspected launcher caves are located along two roads, each of which is only about one kilometer long. This layout would provide protection against the very limited conventional attacks, which will not be limited in the case of massive Iranian ballistic missile attack, but it would be vulnerable to a nuclear surprise attack. In a hypothetical crisis where the Israeli leadership decided to activate Israel's nuclear capability, the launchers presumably would leave Stat Misha and take up positions in remote launch areas. A U.S. State Department background paper from 1969 stated that there was evidence strongly indicating that several sites providing operational launch capabilities are virtually complete, meaning that Stat Mika is not the only site in Israel from which Jericho missile can be launched. Stat Mika is also a location for the new Aero 3 anti-ballistic missile defense system. ABM, designed to intercept missiles coming from Iran. This is a joint venture of Israel and the United States and has been deployed there in the beginning of 2017. The Oran Adir radar can be clearly seen in the satellite photos. This is a X-band radar that detects incoming ballistic missiles when they are five to six minutes away, enabling the Israeli Aero anti-missile force to hit the Iranian missile warheads farther away and with greater certainty. However, the Iranians have advanced their missiles in terms of maneuverability outside and inside the atmosphere as well as speed, Mach 15 regimes, in recent years. Therefore, 
it is highly unlikely that such sophisticated Iranian warheads on unpredictable trajectories can be destroyed by Aero 3 or similar systems. Especially in the case of a mass launch of ballistic missiles, Israel will certainly not stand a chance. This base, unlike the Iranian missile cities, is not even remotely mature in terms of construction and natural protection. It basically has no passive defense, and its only means of defense is the installed Aero 3 air defense system, which is anything but a reliable defense mechanism. Therefore, Stop Mika is most likely to be one of Iran's main targets in the event of a retaliatory attack. It is highly unlikely that this base with various important buildings and bunkers will survive a heavy ballistic missile attack from Iran. Thanks for watching and see you next time.